So what we can see here is just where the infiltration of the local anaesthetic is, so just over the anterior and uh, also the medial compartments. So this is how we test for the anterior compartment. Um, basically needle lines up through the skin. It's a little bit tough with Blake. You right there, sir? No? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. And we basically just equalise the pressures with some saline in the compartment. Uh, and Blake's pressures are quite high at rest. Um, significantly high. 26, 27, coming out. Uh, so we're testing for the deep posterior compartment here, so it's in along the undersurface of the medial tibial border. And what we feel for is the first pop of the superficial fascial sheath, which we've gone through there. And then as we pop the needle a little bit deeper, you're right, Blake? Mm -hmm. And we actually feel, it's more of a feel thing, I guess. The pop bang is the second fascial sheath there. And you can see the needle is reasonably deep in the leg. And again, in Blake's case, his pressures at rest do appear to be elevated, coming out now. And this is quite a classic finding of the um, compartment syndrome, and you can actually look at uh, this anterior compartment. It is like firm and hard, and we always say like a block of wood, uh, and it looks like the muscles are really swollen up and under a lot of pressure there.